I bid you welcome to my kitchen. My name is Urvi and we're going to uh, learn a new recipe. Uh, it's very, very healthy, very easy to make using local ingredients. We are going to start, it's called dal, which is almost like a lentil soup. Very uh, protein based recipe. And here are the ingredients. All the lentils that we're going to use in this recipe are exactly the same amount. So it's one tablespoon of what's called tur dal, one tablespoon of masur dal or orange dal, one tablespoon of mung dal, one tablespoon of urad dal, and one tablespoon of chana dal. You put this in a pot and you mix it all up and make sure you wash it completely. You'll add two cups of water and you're going to pressure cook the lentils. If you do not have a pressure cooker, what you will do then is you'll soak the dal for a few hours, if possible two hours, and then you'll cook it on low flame, keeping an eye on it. And if you need to add more water at that time, go ahead and do it. The consistency should look like a thick soup. For cooking the dals, you're going to need one teaspoon of clarified butter, which is ghee. You're going to need a teaspoon of cumin seeds, very little chopped onions, a small de-seeded and diced tomato. You're going to need ginger, a piece of ginger, three cloves of garlic, both crushed, a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of red paprika, a half a teaspoon of um, turmeric, which is um, excellent for your health, salt as needed, and this special ingredient, where we haven't talked about this, is asafoetida or hing. It is very potent, very powerful in cooking, so you only need a pinch. Lastly, you're going to need neem leaves. This again, if you don't have it, it's optional. And for garnishing, you're going to need half a juice of lemon and a chopped cilantro. Now we're going to cook all, the, all these ingredients. So first, we're going to add the ghee. If you don't have ghee, you can always use olive oil. And while that's being warmed, I'm going to add my cumin into the pot. The cumin, you have to make sure that it's lightly pink or browned, but not burned. You have to keep an eye on it. It's a delicate um, spice, so you just have to be careful using it. And as you see, I'm letting it um, just cook in the clarified butter or ghee. Next, I'm going to add my onions. And the special ingredient we talked about, hing. If you don't have hing, I would not worry about it. You cook this, you want the onions to be translucent. At this time, I would add my garlic. I wish you had smell of vision. It's the flavor is, and the smell in this kitchen is magnificent, almost heavenly. Next, I will add my neem leaves. Again, that's optional. At this point, I will add my tomatoes. As you see, how wonderful it's coming together. Next, I'll add my paprika. And again, use your own discretion as to how spicy you like it. Now 
Now to this, I'm going to add our cooked lentil. And you want it to just mix all the ingredients together. This is great with rice. You can also serve this as a soup or a starting point. If you like, don't like tomatoes, you can take it off. Again, it's one of those uh, recipes that's easy to make. You can take out any ingredient that, you know, it does not suit you or you might be allergic to any of this following ingredients. Next, we're gonna add salt to taste and also the turmeric. As you see, once you add the turmeric, it changes the color of the dal. You let it come to a boil, and at the end, to freshen up the dal, you will add our lemon juice, and also, you will, at the end, for garnish, you add your cilantro. Okay, as you can see how easy this was to make it and how simple of a recipe it is and you will wow all your friends and family when you see that what you can accomplish and what you get in a restaurant and it's so easy to make it at home. Thank you friends again for coming to visit me in my kitchen and you can visit me for a detailed recipe on my website www dot cooking with Uruvi dot com and we shall see you again. Take care. Have a good day. Le, 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 le.